What's up everyone, Take 10 here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about where to find things to resell. I've had a lot of people commenting that on my flipping for profit videos, so today I decided to make a video talking about it. Let's get right into this. So when I look for inventory, I look at a numerous amount of places, but definitely starting out, some of these will be easier to start out with than some other ones. So the first place to look for inventory to be able to buy to resell would be yard sales. This is one of the easiest and for the most part, stuff at yard sales are usually some of the cheapest stuff that you can get. And the reason for that is people are just clearing out their old stuff and they just want to get rid of it. So usually you can get a lot better prices at those places and a lot of people are willing to negotiate negotiate easier. The one thing I noticed with it being nowadays, uh, as opposed to even just five years ago, nowadays everybody seems to be looking up what the value of their items are before they go up and set their yard sale out. So you have to be cautious that some items might be priced extremely high or what it sells for. That's because they looked up what it's worth before setting up, but you can still go to yard sales and look up uh, different things and be able to find things to flip for profit as well. Next is gonna be your local thrift stores. This is a great place where you go in and you don't know what you're going to find. And it depends on what you're looking for as to what you're likely gonna to find to resell. I've been very lucky with different video games and consoles. I purchased a PlayStation 1 for $25 and sold it for $50. I've also done a lot of great things as well, like uh, Lord of the Rings extended sets. That movie sets, uh, I did pay, I think, $10 and I sold it for $30. But the next time I found it at a thrift store, they were selling it for $30, which is what it's worth. So some thrift stores nowadays even go and look up what things are worth before they go and put it on the shelf. So be very cautious when you go to thrift stores that some of the prices might not be the best and definitely look up sold comps before purchasing anything. Next is gonna be local listings online, whether that is Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji. You can actually find a lot of great deals online and go and meet the person. You can also find yard sales online where they're just posting that they're having a yard sale and you'll see in some of the photos what they have and you just go there quick try to work out some deals. I've had great success there, but definitely finding video game lots and comic book lots on Facebook Marketplace and then going and purchasing them usually is what I do. Now, most of the time it's best to do your negotiation for the price in person, but sometimes if they have a lot of stuff or it's gonna be a long drive for you, definitely negotiate the price before going and making sure they're gonna hold it for you before going and not gonna sell it to somebody else before you get there. That's another key that I use. Next is one that I don't use, but a lot of other people do, and that is auctions. For me, they're just a little bit too risky. I've had my luck on eBay auctions whenever it came to buying something very cheap and then selling it locally for profits, but also sometimes on eBay, the price of stuff just jumps up really, really quick. And with auctions, it's always unpredictable. Sometimes it just might be within the last minutes. There is a, just a ton of bidders for an item and it might go away. So sometimes it's not worth auctions, at least for me, because I find sometimes what I would sell something for, if I sell it for maybe $150, sometimes the winning bid and the winning auction on eBay for that item is like $200, $225. So about 50 to $75 more than what I sell it for. Definitely, I would avoid auctions in my opinion, at least I do. Next is gonna be Amazon return stores. In Ottawa, we do have a few. We have Crazy Bins, which I've had success on in the past. We also have Quick Picks. It depends on what day you go to these. Now, they do have restocking days where everything is gonna be $25, but remember when you go, not everything is gonna be a great deal. A lot of stuff that I find is either garbage, broken, or extremely dirty, or just of about $5 value. So if you go on the restock day and it's $25, you're definitely not gonna be buying a $5 item for $25 that day. You're going the first day basically for hopes that you're gonna find some big ticket items, some stuff that's gonna obviously be worth more than $25 and then you can buy and resell. I haven't had so much luck at those places, but I see a lot of other people do. And the last place, which is one that I use the most now, is simply looking online, Facebook or Kijiji, and I look Canada-wide for my inventory, and I, if I find something that's reasonably priced, I ask if they will ship it to me. If they say yes, I will pay for the price of the item and pay for the shipping and have it shipped to me, and then I'll resell it for profits. The reason for that is because locally I find some prices are 
just ridiculous. And if you go Canada wide, sometimes you might find a deal somewhere else in Canada where they have it really good price. Even with you paying shipping, you'll definitely make some profit on it. And the only reason I started to transition with this method was because back in 2022 and around September 2022, I did have a pretty bad ankle and knee injury where I couldn't walk, stand, or drive my vehicle, so I couldn't go sourcing for inventory. So I started with this method and it actually worked out for me. I had a lot of great deals for 3DSs that I found, uh, some Game Boys, Game Boy Advances, and a whole bunch of other video games as well. So it definitely is an option when you're looking for inventory, but buyer beware if you're looking for this method, there is scammers out there where you might send them money and you might never receive that item. So definitely look for higher rated sellers and also consider if the deal is way too good to be true, it probably is. If they're selling a 3DS for like 50 bucks or 40 bucks, it likely is too good to be true and they likely don't even have it. That at least is from my experience dealing with those stuff, but this is where I find most of my inventory. Obviously there is other ways you can find stuff to buy, to resell for profits, and it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's video games, knickknacks, or whatever your niche is, or if you're just in general looking for stuff to buy to resell, you definitely can find great deals. But my biggest piece of advice would be to look up soul comps before you purchase anything, just to make sure you're either A, not getting ripped off, or B, you're not buying something for what it sells for, or more than what it sells for. That is my piece of advice, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care, peace.